Hi, this is PC Roger, and welcome to this short video on LastPass, which has a uh, kind of a flaw in it, in my opinion. The uh, It's an advanced security feature, but this feature can really leave you screwed up. If you have uh, seen this error message, LastPass doesn't recognize this device or you're at a new location, please check your email to grant access to your new device or location, then perhaps you, like me, are starting to think that LastPass is not the last password you'll have to remember. Unless, of course, you happen to use the same password for your email as you do for LastPass, which I don't really recommend. Now, I have recommended LastPass. I think it's a great uh, program. It is uh, cloud-based. They've had uh, some issues where you've had to uh, change your password and such. They've been, you know, maybe not really hacked, but screwed with, put it that way. And that's caused some frustration for us uh, over the years. But but it is a good idea. It still does seem to be secure. I do recommend that you make local backups of your vault from time to time. I do recommend that you have a complex password. Yes, you can uh, create a, a password that you can remember that is still complex and hard to hack. And there's other there's lots of lots of tutorials on how to do that. So I won't get into that here. But there is one thing that you can do if, if you still have access to your LastPass vault currently. I'm going to show you what to do to make sure you never see that uh, stupid little graphic again. That one right there. Or if you are seeing it right now and you don't know what to do, well, here's the thing. Now, if you've, if, one of the things about LastPass is it's great if you say, hey, uh, I'm going to see my Aunt Gertrude and San Diego and because I don't want to have to mess with TSA, I'm not going to take my, my computer. I'm not going, to take, not going to take my laptop. So Aunt Gertrude has been kind enough to say you can use her machine and you know all your passwords and LastPass. So you can access everything, do everything you need to do. Well, you get out to Aunt Gertrude's and you see that stupid little warning. Well, the first thing that LastPass will tell you to do is offline access. But in order to use offline access, you have to be using a machine that has successfully logged into your LastPass password safe previously. Or, and, and the best way to do that, I think, is just pull the network cable out and then you, or turn off your Wi-Fi, whichever the, is the case. And so you don't have access to the LastPass servers. The other thing you can do is you can go to lastpass.com, miss underscore download2.php, essentially the download link. And if you click under Windows and scroll to the bottom, you'll see LastPass Pocket. You see, this provides backup capability and offline access for your LastPass vault. You can install this. I think you can install like a US, an USB uh, device even and plug that in and run it and it will go through and it will find your LastPass vault on your on your local machine. But that machine has to have been logged into LastPass successfully at some time. So here's the thing. If you're at Aunt Gertrude's and you don't have your computer and you've never logged in before from her computer, then the only thing you can really do if you don't have your email password to check your email and do what LastPass has said and verify that uh, that you are who you are and that it's okay to open up the vault from that location, well, then you really have to go through a password recovery system for your email. Or, you know, if you can call somebody back home that can uh, open up your email for you there, then that's dandy. But it, uh, it really is a frustration, and it kind of came up uh, first time I saw it was a couple months ago. And the first thing that came to my mind was LastPass is obviously not the last password you'll have to remember. But there is a way to get around that, uh, but only if you're currently logged in. So let's do that. Just a quick note on other ways that LastPass is really frustrating me these days. Uh, there have been times, I don't know if you've run into it, where you log in and uh, for some reason it immediately logs you right back out again. And then further, I'm trying to show you something on the account settings here, and it is bringing up this nifty, or not so, pop-up uh, window that I can't move high enough in the screen to show you. So I've got to mess with it here. So if you log into your LastPass vault, if you, if you can succeed in getting logged in, click on account settings on the left, and then click on this show advanced settings at the bottom. And what you want to do is here it has disable email verification. You want to check that box. Now, also, you might want to note here that uh, there also are country restrictions and it is default to disallow logins from Tor networks. So if you use those, uh, pay attention to that and some other settings here. Also, these are in the advanced settings here. And the one that we're looking at right now uh, for this particular tutorial is making sure you check the skip email verification of unknown devices and locations. 
And again, if you have a, a good complex password, you know, you shouldn't have to worry about someone hacking into your account. The first thing they have to do is, is guess your email address. Then they have to guess your, your password, which if it's a large number of characters, complex, again, it can be re rememberable even though it's complex. It would take a lot of computing power to crack that. And if either the Chinese government or the Russian government or the US government is after you, they're going to get you no matter what. But the standard hacker from India or China or Russia or Romania, they're not going to be able to crack a good password on LastPass. So I really don't think it's necessary. In my opinion, you do what you're comfortable with. Uh, I don't think there's any reason not to have this box checked because you really don't want to be at Aunt Gertrude's or anywhere else and be stuck not being able to get at your passwords. So I hope this has been helpful. Uh, went on a little longer than I expected, but uh, maybe it's just my, my rant. But, but LastPass is a great program, but I think they've got some improvements to make. Uh, this is one way you can, uh, can override their lack of improvement uh, for the time being and, and make your backups uh, of your, your LastPass safe. And that's not too hard to do. You just follow the menu to do it and be prepared when it happens. It's, it's, it's a lot easier to take, uh, take preparations before they're needed than, than to worry about scrambling afterward. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Please like the video. Please subscribe. We will see you next time.